everybody, Shakes here, and today I'm going to be launching my new space station. I'm using the Station Science mod, uh, which will give me the ability to hopefully harvest quite a bit of science just within uh, a shallow orbit of Kerbin. So here I have my basic Lifto sub-assembly, lifting up the very first piece of the station. This consists of the base part, or the base module for the Station Science mod, and it has a couple experiment pods clipped on to the side. coming up into a basic orbit of around a hundred kilometers. The main thing to watch with the station science space stations is you want to keep them in a regular uh, circularized orbit, uh, fairly shallow around the planet or you want to go very high with your orbit, but you don't want to pass in and out of a high and a low orbit, otherwise your experiments will try to reset themselves during the transition between the two orbits, and that'll screw you up, because it takes quite a while to be able to get these experiments to finalize or get to the point where you can finalize them. So here we have a good orbit for the base part of the station. So now we have the second module that's going to go into the station. This is a basic docking hub. It has four arms that come out that hook into uh, double hubs for docking. And at the skinny side of this hub we have docking ports, five docking ports, that will be used for docking station tugs that will be used for moving various components around or bringing components in to be docked into the main station. And here I go about the grueling task of getting an intercept with the station and then trying to dock in with it. At this point, um, I could not find a version of the Navy Fish Docking Alignment Port mod that worked with .25, so I was having to do this old school, which I'm not good at docking old school. But I did manage to pull it off. It took forever and I just about ran out of fuel along the way, but I finally got it there. Here I am coming out in Caddy Corner and very wobbly. I had had to make myself back off from the station several times when I was bringing this in just because it was so awkward to steer. I never could seem to get it quite lined up correctly. There we go. Now we have the first two main modules of the station in place. I have a big red tank of fuel left over on the back end of the first tug that brought the uh, 
main station up. And here I am emptying my excess fuel into the main tank here. I'm eventually going to get rid of this red tank, but I want to use all of this fuel that I managed to get up here. And uh, with the amount of little modules that I'll be moving in and out with the tugs, I'm pretty sure I'll blow through this fuel fairly quickly. And now that I've got uh, all of the liquid fuel transferred out of this back tank, I'm going to kick this stage off. So that way I can bring around the main tug and uh, dock it into the central docking port matrix. There it goes. Now I eventually want to get all of the components that I take off of the station set with parachutes so that way they can be pushed back into the planet for recovery. I have a recovery mod that allows me to load parts up with parachutes so that way uh, using all these giant uh, lift stages to put this stuff into orbit is not as expensive as it normally would be. And that's really handy considering just the amount of stuff that I'm going to have to lift up into this. So now the first tug is in place. And we are set to bring up a cyclotron in order to provide that extra power we will need to do these experiments. Now my first attempt at getting a cyclotron into orbit failed miserably. As you can see here it's got a bad case of the wiggly wiener syndrome. Now the, re the main reason why it's doing this is I installed a uh, structural reinforcement mod and evidently it's strong enough to keep these docking ports from pulling apart. It actually makes them uh, bend around similar to a slinky or a giant spring. I had this idea in my head that I would somehow get this aligned up so I could push it the rest of the way to the station, but that did not work. So anyway, now here we are with the second launch. I remembered to use struts to reinforce my docking attachment. And you can see that I finally got a hold of my docking alignment indicator mod that I was looking for. This makes docking a whole lot easier. I highly recommend it. So there we are, hooked in. We now will have the electricity that we need to pull off all of these experiments that we're going to send up. I'm going to need a second cyclotron eventually. Here I am realigning 
this one because I don't want these monopropellant tanks to interfere with these docking hubs on the other side of this uh, second module. It takes me some finagling to get this lined up correctly and get it back onto the station. Seems like even with the alignment indicator docking, it's still a bit hard for me. But as they say, practice makes perfect. Now I'm just getting all the Gigantor solar panels deployed. This will start to bring in some corks to help finish off these experiments. And I decide to go ahead and fill the tank up on this tug because I plan on using it for quite a bit uh, as I bring more parts in. But I need to make room for more parts, so I have to pull it off the back end here and swing it around to stick in one of these docks. I came around on the wrong side, but that's okay. This gives me more practice with this docking alignment indicator. So that way when I'm bringing more heavy pieces up, maybe I'll suck a little bit less at it. Now I've got to bring up another cyclotron and then a zoology lab as well. And I have a plan in place for bringing up uh, experiment pods in mass. So that way I have a little bit easier time of switching out experiments. Especially considering the amount of uh, fuel and cost that goes into launching these things up and docking them. So, anyway, this pretty much concludes the beginning episode of the Station Science Mod. As time goes by, I'll get a little bit more in-depth into how I'm doing this and try to demonstrate a little bit of how to get some science with this mod. But anyway, thank you for watching, and... Uh, I hope to be back next time with a little bit more information and science station fun.